Hey guys, I'm Lindsay and this is my husband John and we just purchased our first or yeah our first <laughs> our retro Riverside Retro 135 back in I think it was March mm -hmm. and it's our first time winterizing it so we are going to walk you through as we're doing it I would not call this a how-to video because it's our first experience with it but hopefully our experience helps you guys <laughs> <laughs> with our mistakes <laughs> so you don't make the same mistakes all right so first thing we're going to do is i'll give it to uh, john <laughs> actually the first thing we already did was opened up the Whoa. drain for Wait the water minute. tank okay. underneath and then also a couple low point drains let's oh, speak up also a couple low point drains <laughs> that were under here and on the inside how do i okay on the inside cracked the um, mm -hmm. sink open just to let all that water kind of drain out so what I'm doing next is trying to figure out where the hot water tank bypass valves are in here um, so so this is the cabinet this is the um, on, uh, storage storage on, on the what side the left side of the front end the front end yeah front end of the um, RV <laughs> Camper. So that's where the camper. I'm sorry. Yeah, wrong term. Okay. <laughs> Maybe flip the thing. How do I flip it? Should be a way to do it. Yeah, I don't know. We're stuck. Okay. Well, you just have to hold it. I won't be able to see. Oh. All right. We're gonna pause this. We'll be right back. Okay. Now, crawling inside the storage area, which is a little tight. <sighs> There's an angle that we can see it. This is the hot water tank. So here, I think, is the tube that would bypass the tank. With this valve turned that way. And then this valve down here. Turned that way. Looks like that is going to bypass our tank, which is this thing covered in styrofoam here. So next, I'm going to drain the hot water tank. Okay, so we're gonna drain the hot water tank next. <laughs> Actually, you might want to stop the video because I gotta go find the right socket. I told you to get all the tools before we do this. Okay, he is going to go get the right socket for this. We are not prepared, as I said, <laughs> but it's okay. And I'm not gonna let you see our garage because that will scare you. There's our neighbor dog, Alice. <laughs> Hi, Alice. Aw, she's a good girl. Yeah, so fun fact, she just stays in her yard too without close, any too close. electric fence or leash or anything. She just stays there and doesn't leave. Isn't that, that's like amazing. My dogs would be running down that street really fast. Okay. I think he's, um, here he comes with the right size socket. Supposed to be a one and one sixteenth. Okay, one and one sixteenth. Socket. That should take this off. What I'm taking off is the plug. Oh, actually, before I do that, I want to do the pressure release valve. Open that up just to make sure there's no pressure in the water tank. Just did that. It's open. It's good. Take this. So what are you doing now? Removing the uh, plug for this tank. What 
What tank exactly is this it? This is the hot water. The hot water tank. And this is a suburban hot water tank. As soon as I pull this out, water is going to come shooting. Okay, look out, everybody. Here we go. Oh, that's not that powerful, I guess. And then here we have what is called an anode rod. So this has been through one season. It actually looks like it probably needs changed. So you can see the curve. Oh, the I board. would say so, yeah. It's starting to show here. The water is flowing. So I don't have a replacement right now, but uh, I'll probably be getting one. What piece is this? This is called an anode rod, mm. which is also the plug for the, the tank here. So basically this is, a, I think, a steel hot water tank. And this keeps the steel from corroding because it corrodes itself. Ah. All right. Mm -hmm. So now we just have to wait for this all to drain out. Okay. So I wonder how long it. Fat, when, make it drain faster. I think I can open up this pressure relief valve. Yep. That's it. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. So you want to make sure you open the pressure relief valve, or otherwise you might be standing there all day. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. And again, you want to move everything. <laughs> um. <laughs> That might be in the way of this fountain of water spilling out. <laughs> There's our dogs. <laughs> you can hear them now. There it goes down the driveway. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't float the street. Not drain a little oh. bit, just so all the water is out pretty much drained fully and like i said i'm gonna get a new one of these but i don't have one right now so i'm just gonna have to put this back in. okay <clears throat> i wonder what it's supposed to look like next it's supposed to look nice and smooth it looks like something chewed on it yeah it's honestly okay. what, that's what the so this corrodes so you're water tank doesn't it um it sacrifices itself yeah i heard you say that but i literally like see teeth marks on there yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. i don't know <laughs> it's just dissolving minerals yeah all right this thing's pretty drained here so i'm gonna put this back in okay don't rush just because i'm filming mm -hmm. I guess we don't have to clean that out. Like, see where all that water is puddling? We don't have to, do we have to get all that water out of there? Yeah, we should wipe it out with a towel or something. Okay. So, I'll go grab a towel. Okay. But here. Oh. Here, just, why don't you pause and start a new section? Okay. <laughs> okay, we are back. So, what are you doing now? I'm just putting the, a node rod back in the hole here. The what? The <laughs> uh, drain plug or a node rod back into the. Okay. So he just he just um, plugged it back the drain rod. Whatever he said. <laughs> here, no, just turn it off for a sec. Oh. So the next step. What are we doing next here? So I have all my. Uh, Explain briefly what you just did, oh, real quick. Oh, uh, I just put the uh, anode rod back into the hot water tank. The anode rod back into the what? Hot water anode tank. Anode rod back into the hot water tank, so it's plugged up now. Okay. Um, so now, we'll keep them outside in. Uh, I'm going to 
Shower. Oh, it's on the side. <laughs> so I still have all the low point drains open up. I cracked. I opened up the valve on the. Uh, oh shoot, so it's my other set of keys because this one has a different key for the outside shower for some reason. And our other key broke. Hold, please. <laughs> Yeah, so also our John was unlocking the storage unit on the side a couple months ago and the key just snapped in half. I don't know if I think I think I saw on this retro group on Facebook that happened to someone else too. So now we're just down to one key, the key that I have. So right now he is going inside to find my set of keys. Yep. Okay. So basically just trying to make sure there's literally as little water as possible still in the system. So low point drains are already open on the bottom. And then right now open all of this up just to make sure. So you turn to the left or right? Yeah, just open the vat. It's like a faucet. Okay, well, for stupid people like me. <laughs> you know how to turn off faucet here. I don't know, I might get confused. Anyway, but it's pretty much all, it's pretty much all drained out because I don't even hear any gurgling when I'm doing this. Okay. So, that's good. Um, we'll just make sure on the inside shower if I already opened the sink up that we've done the same thing. So right now he's checking the inside shower to make sure that's all drained. And the sink as well. Yeah, sink's good. I already did that earlier. Whoop, door in the face. <laughs> Coming in. Oh yeah, I guess I should, huh? <laughs> um Literally yeah. just opening up the uh So you're just turning on the water to make sure there's no just water. Just to make sure there's literally no water and there shouldn't be because I already did the low point drains and stuff, but just to make sure. Everything's opened up here. Nope, there, there's literally nothing. Okay. Nothing. What about the toilet? Do you yes, have to like step yeah. on the pedal? Yeah, I'll do that real quick too. Hold on, okay. <laughs> I can't see. But yeah, there's. There we go. Yep. We are totally Step drained. on the pedal. Nothing coming out. All right. So. Let's see what I'm gonna do next. I think is close off the low point drains. Which are under here. I'm gonna take this. I think you have to speak up. I'm closing the low point drains. <clears throat> here they are here. Shut that. Shut that. The one for the water tank, I'm just going to leave open there because we're going to bypass that. <sighs> All right. Okay. So this is RV. Yes. Safe antifreeze. Very important. And not vehicle antifreeze. Um, and it's you can tell the difference because this one is red versus the blue. Pink, and it says <clears throat> non-toxic potable right. water system antifreeze. Yeah, because you don't, because keep in mind when you turn the faucets back on next summer or spring, um, it will be the antifreeze coming out at first. So you don't want to poison yourself or your furry animals when you first turn on the water, because that would be very bad. So that's important. See, I wouldn't even think to get special antifreeze if I was doing this myself, because I don't think of stuff like that, but that is a key thing. Okay, so next. Yep. I have to figure out how I get the siphon vat, the, the pump siphon valve opened up and the other one closed up that, that pulls from the um, fresh water tank because it's basically a siphon antifreeze right out of this container mm -hmm. through our system. So that's what I'm going in here to do. Okay. And out. again, this is 
This is our first time doing this. Okay, so this here is definitely our siphon valve. Our siphon hose. Which connects to our water pump, I think. Which is down here somewhere. It is. All right. So, if you can see where my hand is here, this pulls out of your fresh water into your pump and then through your system. So, we need to turn this valve that way so it stops that from happening. Next. We open up our valve to our siphon hose, which I just did. I'm gonna give a thumb back here. Ooh, that was a crazy stretch you just did. Now we're gonna open up our antifreeze. Put that there. Get a tube in there. As far down as we can go. So that valve's facing the right way? Yep. We turned off the hot water valve. Hot water tank valve. But it's bypassed right now. Uh, bypassed, that's what I mean. Yes. Okay. So <clears throat> when we turn this on, it should just start pumping, start the build up pressure to pump through the system. Okay. So, so what I'm going to do next. Shower faucets. Just because I wasn't dumb and left those on. There we go. Sinks off. Just double checking. And, and now we're going to kick on the water pump. Not the water heater. Make so, sure the water heater's off. Yeah, so that's the water heater off, water pump on. Okay, so what should be happening right now? We hope. We hope. That's not off. That should be off. Seems off. Maybe it's just. Yeah, no, it's off. Okay. So they're turned to the left. That's weird. Anyway. Okay. Dang. They on. No, cool. they're on. Okay. Off. Go off. Right. Usually righty, tidy, righty, yeah. tidy, lefty open. So we're off. Okay. And as you guys see, yes, this is exactly what happened. The water pump's starting to suck some of this antifreeze out and into the system. That's what we want to happen. So. Good. Good. Okay. Good. So what I'm gonna do first is open up our cold water on our outside shower. Wait till that runs nice and pink. We are pink. It's pink? Oh, okay. Pink. Yeah, that's pink. Oh, I can't see it. All right. We're gonna open our hot water. <laughs> Run that. That looks nice and pink. I don't think so, John. That looks pretty clear to me. So clear. Yeah. <laughs> That looks pink to me, babe. That looks pink, but when you have the shower on full flow, it doesn't look pink. It looks clear. So, I don't know. I think it's pretty pink. I think you're colorblind. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely getting in there because when it's dripping, it's pink. Yeah, obviously. I just want to see where my, tube, where my head is here. Should we see it a little? Yeah, so we're going to pumping. <laughs> you want it to get pinker. Okay. We have three more gallons of this stuff, so we can, we can double check it. That looks pretty pink here. 
don't want to waste more okay. anchors. Okay. All right. I get. Yep. <laughs> that has a pink hue. But to me, honestly, okay. See when it's yeah when it's puddling or when it's um bubbling up down there, it looks pink. Well, we just went through our gown, so now we gotta open up another gown. Oh, I'm sorry. It did not look pink when it was full force out of the shower. Unless I need my eyes checked, which is probably the likely reason. How many gallons did we get? Huh? This is one we just went through again. Yeah, so how many gallons did we Can purchase? You turn the pump off? Yes. <laughs> All right, turning the water pump off. John's request. <laughs> How many gallons did we buy of antifreeze? Four. Okay, so we have four, three more gallons. Which we shouldn't be Okay. So, I'm sorry, it didn't look pink. <laughs> okay, so we are on to gallon number two of the antifreeze. I'm not running any more of this outside it's shower. It's fine. Do it quick. Okay. We already know the outside shower. It ran through there. All right, one more time just to. No, I can see it leaking out now. It's, well, it's pink coming down. That is pink. Yeah, very pink. I can see the pink hue now. Yeah. Do I need to go turn that um, the pump back on? I already did. Okay, so we turned the pump back on after I turned it off. Uh, my goodness, right up there and throw the stuff fast. We should be using this one. You know. Using what? <laughs> Just too much anchor. Oh. It's kind of sucking a lot of the water. Hmm. Anyhow, we have a shower. It's good. Okay. Shower. Check, check mark next to the shower. Testing to see, make sure that's pink as well. That's pink, very pink. Uh, and that's what you want to see. Pink. pink. Oh, he's checking the shower to make sure that's pink. I wonder how they make antifreeze um, without using the toxic chemicals and how it still works. I don't know. And why they wouldn't just make it all antifreeze like that. Uh, that's a good question. Because animals get sick and die a lot because they, animals like the taste of antifreeze so they find it and they drink it. Right. Yeah, I have no it's idea. It's bad. It probably costs more to make it. I'm sure. Yeah, next. Uh, pink. Yeah. Pink on your shirt. <laughs> okay. So we are now winterized as far as the. Wait, so that's it? Shower fixtures? No. Oh. <laughs> Actually, can you shut off the... Uh... Yes. So right now I'm shutting off the pump. Again. Okay. 
again. Okay. So explain what you're doing now. Yeah, so this is our city water intake. <laughs> right there. Right here. No, it's not. That's <laughs> dump. This is the city water okay. tank here. So you guys will see there's this little kind of screen with a gasket that just pops right out. And there's a button in here. Okay. I'm gonna uh, tell Lindsay to stand back. I'm I just have a question. Yeah. Remember, um, it was mislabeled the city water yeah, connection. It was. So did you move it? The yeah, sticker. I did. Okay. So just a note. Um, it's a lot of these came with the sticker misplaced on the wrong on tube the or the wrong outlet. Flush. So just make sure you are doing the right one. Okay. okay. All right. Go ahead. I'm standing the back. City water. There's a little button in here. You press this button. And what's gonna happen is some pink water is gonna come shooting out here. Wow, car wash. There we go. And what's pink? Yeah, got a little bit there. Um, so what that does is get your uh, actually turn that pump on real quick for one. I I thought I'd turn it on. Yeah, I'll turn it on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm turning on the water pump again to make sure that we have a good pink water flow coming out. Okay. That's pink. All right. And it is pink. That's what you want. Right. So you shut that valve off now. All right. I'm shutting the valve off or the pump off the button. Go. Okay. Just gonna make sure we replace that whole piece. Why? Is it rusted? No, just put it back. Oh, you mean put it back. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's back. Freeze. Oh, close my valve here. So we've done two gallons of antifreeze so far. <laughs> two gallons. Okay. One more step we're gonna have to take because we can't film right now is this black water flush. So what needs to happen here with this, this doesn't pop out, doesn't seem like it is. There's a type of pump I think we have to buy. It's a kit, isn't it? That will draw antifreeze out and into there to so get your black water flush line. Nice and and um, we'll, we can post a picture of that kit that we end up getting because yeah, we've been watching much. other YouTube videos and there was one that recommended a certain kit to do that. So once we get to that step, we will um, show what we did. Is that it? One more thing. Okay, there's one more thing. Just have to fill up our oh. heat traps. Fill up what? They're called pea traps. Pea traps. I love the angry pumpkin in the background. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there's a little bit left in this one. Just gonna dump the rest of it into the toilet here. Seal will be nice and protected there. Is that why it's called the pea trap? <laughs> no. no, there's like a <laughs> to trap the pea. U shape, uh, say in this this one here. So we're gonna just dump a little bit down this drain, making sure we get our traps. And a little bit of that will go into the gray water tank too. <laughs> we're gonna do the same thing here with our sink. Good. And sink is now. What is the purpose of this? Uh, to just to there's, add an extra. Yeah, there's protection. some pipes 
you know, the drain lines and stuff, then you want, there's a trap where it holds residual water, so you want antifreeze to be in those Oh, traps. I see. Okay. <laughs> And is that it? That's pretty much it, except okay. for the uh, black water. Black water flush, which we'll have to worry about later. Um, somebody said completely disconnect the battery, but I feel like if I keep it plugged in all winter, I shouldn't have an issue with that. Well, he did say recharge it, right? So is it charging? It's charging now. Yeah. You got it running from. He said to put it in a ventilated awesome. in indoor spot, didn't he? If you remove the battery. Okay. Which we're not doing. Well, why would anyone remove the battery? If they aren't plugged in, I don't know. Hmm, okay, I'm just wondering. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Well, that's a different a thing. help with that one. Yeah, if anyone has any suggestions on that, <laughs> let us know. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. All right. Thanks for watching. We hoped you um, got some benefit from this video. Once again, it was a learning experience for us, but... I think John did a good job. He's been <laughs> watching best. YouTube videos himself for quite a few months here, so. And I uh, noticed there was none on the Retro 135, so. Yeah, maybe. we couldn't find any, but that's because it's a new, it's a newer model. Like this model I think just came out recently. So once again, this is the 35 Riverside Retro. Retro. Oh my God. Riverside Retro 135. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not drunk. <laughs> okay, yes. The Riverside Retro 135. All right. All right. Thank you guys. Bye. Later. <laughs>